Hey guys, today is a botany lesson and we are talking about the parts of the leaf today. So listen up as I read the information for you, okay? The leaves. The leaves are a part of the shoot system of a plant. The leaves inhabit the air. The leaves make food for the plant. The parts of the leaf are the stipules, the petiole, the blade, the cuticle, the stomatal pores, the base, the margin, the apex, the veins, the main veins, the side veins, the veinlets, and the leaflets. Okay, so this part here is the stipules. The stipules of the leaves are a pair of leaf-like appendages at the base of the petiole of most leaves. The stipules may be separated from each other. The stipules may be joined to each other. Leaves are extipulated if there are no stipules, okay? And the word stipula is a Latin word that means stalk, okay? Next, we have this spot here is the petiole. The petiole is the stalk that joins the leaf to the node of the stem. The petiole is narrow and rigid. The vascular bundle continues from the stem through the petiole and becomes the main vein in most leaves. Some leaves do not have petioles. So in this one, Latin, the Latin word is petiolus, which means little foot, because this is the part that keeps the um, leaf attached to the stem. Okay. Next, this whole part is called the blade. The blade of the leaf is the broad, flat, thin area of the leaf. The blade uses the carbon dioxide and energy from the sun and water and minerals from the root system to make food for the plant. And um, this word comes from Middle English, which blod means leaf, okay? So here we have the cuticle. The cuticle is the waxy covering on the surface of the leaves. The cuticle prevents water loss from the leaves of a plant. So if you look at your fingernail, this part down here at the very edge, this is called your cuticle. It's like a little bit of skin that kind of grows up and it kind of helps keep in the moisture and stuff in, in that part of your fingernail where your fingernail is growing. So that's what the cuticle on the plant does. It's the waxy part that helps keep it safe, okay? Next, we have the stomatal pores, okay? Here's a magnification of what they look like. The stomatal pores are the small openings mostly on the underside of the blade. The stomatal pores allow carbon dioxide to be absorbed from into the plant from the air. The stomatal pores also allow oxygen and water to be released from the plant into the air. The submerged leaves of aquatic plants have no stomatal pores. So if it's a plant that grows underwater, there are no stomatal pores, okay? Next, we have the base. The base of the leaf is the area of the blade nearest to the point of attachment to the stem. So it's this part here that's closest to the stem, okay? This part of the blade that's closest to the stem. Next, we have the margin. The margin of the blade is the outer edge of the leaf blade. The margin of the blade has many shapes. The margin of the blade can indent to varying degrees to the main vein. Plants are identified by the shape and by the indentation of the margin. So the word margin comes from the Latin word marginis, which means a border. Okay, so that's the outside edge. Next we have the apex. The apex of the blade is at the top center of the blade. The apex is opposite of the base. Um, apex comes from the Latin word apices, which means summit, which also means the top. So it's the tip, the apex. Next we have the veins. The veins are seen throughout the blade of the leaf. The veins support the softer parts of the border. The veins are vascular bundles that support the water and minerals from the root system of the plant to the leaf. The veins transport the food made in the leaf to other parts of the shoot stem and to, or to the shoot system and to the root system. And that's Latin, the Latin word is vene for vein, okay? Now we have the main vein. The main vein of the blade is the center vein of the blade of the leaf. There may be more than one main vein in a blade. The main vein extends from the petiole to the margin of the blade in most leaves. Plants are identified by the pattern of the main veins on the leaf, okay? So it goes all the way from 
the petiole to the margin. Petiole to the margin, okay? Now we have side veins. The side veins of the blade grow from the main veins. The side veins are smaller, okay? Next we have veinlets, okay? So veinlets are the small veins throughout the blade. The veinlets are connected to the main veins and the side veins. So here's a close-up picture of what the veinlets are. They're small, okay? Now we have leaflets. The leaflets are smaller leaf shapes that are formed when the margin of the blade indents to the main vein. The leaflets are actually the blade of a single leaf. Leaflets do not have axillary buds or true petioles, okay? And those are all of the parts of the leaf. So after you watch this video, I'll show you your follow-up and you'll be able to get started. Thanks guys.